This problem deals with average acceleration, defined as the change in velocity over the change in time. In our case, we have two velocities, v2 and v1, final minus initial, divided by the change in time. Part A asks us for the x and y components of the final velocity, v2. We can solve the average acceleration equation for the final velocity, v2, to see that it equals the initial plus the average acceleration multiplied by the change in time. Separating this equation into its components gives these two equations, the x component and the y component. And we can calculate the final components of the velocity once we know the components of the acceleration. So we need to find a average x and a average y. And that's shown here. The average acceleration has a magnitude of 0 0.45 meters per second squared and an angle theta of 31 degrees. The x component and y component of this vector are shown here. When you calculate them, you find for the x component a value of 0 0.39 meters per second squared, and for the y component, a value of 0 0.23 meters per second squared. And these we can substitute into the equations above. The final x component of velocity is the initial x component plus the x component of acceleration multiplied by the time. 10 seconds passes in between t1 and t2. And that gives a final x component of 6.5 meters per second. Doing the same thing for the y component, we substitute its initial value the y component of the acceleration and the change in time, to find the final y component of velocity is 0.5 meters per second. Part B asks for the magnitude and direction of his velocity at the second time. We can plot these components that we just found, 6.5 meters per second in the x direction and 0.5 meters per second in the y direction, to see that this is the final velocity vector v2. Find its magnitude using the Pythagorean theorem. Sum the squares of the components and take the square root. After substituting the values and calculating, you find that the final magnitude of the velocity, the boy's speed, at the second time is 6.52 meters per second. Find the angle using the inverse tangent function. Theta is the inverse tangent of the ratio the opposite to the adjacent sides. Substitute the values and calculate to find that the angle is 4.4 degrees counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. Part C asks us to sketch the velocity vectors at the two times. We've already sketched the vector at the second time, so we just need to do it for the first one. At the initial time, the velocity components are 2.6 meters per second to the right and 1.8 meters per second down in the negative y direction, so the velocity vector v1 looks like this. The change in these velocity vectors going from the first one to the second one is shown here, and that equals the average acceleration multiplied by the change in time, with components that look like this.